What's up, everybody? Where ciao, are you? Ciao, ciao. 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 His name already? <laughs> I'm Japanese. Lauta. Chris. Today we're having a few snacks in Rome, and then we're headed out to a convent and a monastery of San Benedetto. Where we're going to bless the boys. Hmm. <laughs> Don't forget Valerio. Yeah, oh, and dinner at Valerio at the end. Ciao. 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 There's Vaticano. Samo, you look particularly good from this angle. Come on! Step aside! <laughs> so this here is the Trapezino. This is the first location that ever opened up. I know that some of the other locations are pretty good, but I still think that this one is the top notch one. They haven't compromised the quality at all. They stuck to the rules and the quality products. So, time to enjoy. <laughs> As you can see, this place is pretty popular. It's got lines. Flauta's going in for a second. For the third. For the third. <laughs> All right. Here we go. And here we got lingua and salsa verde. So basically, tongue with chimichurri and picchiapo is a beef red sauce from Rome. And the bread is just very good. Cheers, bro. Satisfy your Argentine palate. It's very similar. Probably is This one wins the cake. I know. Yeah. That's that's the classical yeah, Roman right. one. The Roman one wins the cake. Because this one comes cold. Mm -hmm. It's still very good. But this, piquebo, mm. when in Rome, Roman dishes. Mm -hmm. mm. Wow. Kind of fatty, you know? Mm. Perfect. <laughs> Very good. Now we're all fueled up and ready to go. Check out Samuel's Roman Park. I thought it was, I, I could fit there. Just thought. Hi, I thought you were parking in Italy. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Monsieur Lapati. Monsieur? Huh? Uh, <laughs> Shoshana! <laughs> Uh, do you smell the air? Like it, it's just totally different. You should breathe it again. Ooh, ooh. Ah. <laughs> Chris is gonna wake up once we throw him in the cold. Once we throw him in the cold water, he's gonna be like. <laughs> Lauta's coming, his wild side is coming back. Ooh, bad, yeah. just come across a couple of wild boars. A couple of no-goods. There you go. Oh, there's another wild boar right here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so we've arrived in Subiaco. That's the castle of Subiaco right there at the top. Below here is the Villa of Nero, which now is like a, a waterfall in the pond of San Benedetto. It used to be the pond of Nero for his summer house. He would probably go down there to the pool to enjoy his days. It has caves in between the waterfalls. So from a pagan place, along came a mystic, San Benedetto, who used to live in the caves on top of the mountain. And he blessed the place, blessed the pond, or the, the gorge, whatever we can call it. <laughs> and they eventually built a monastery up where he dwelled in the caves, and we're going to be seeing that later as well. So we're at the Pool of Benedetto. Those guys are getting ready to go through the caves in their wetsuits. We're heading down to the pool. <laughs> I think you have your shorts on the wrong way, Chris. <laughs> <laughs>
Just do it, do it, man. Don't think. Don't think. Just get on that peak and just jump off. No, no. Ah, come on. I'm already filming. Just do it. The, the more you think about it, the worse it is. Go get your towel. Yeah, jump with me. Yes, come on. Samo. Samo, jump. Samo. Come on, don't think about it. Yeah. Just go. Wait, hold on. Go, go, go. <laughs> Already there when I jumped, I was like, ah! No, just go. It'll take you back super fast. Come on. Can I jump from there? Just jump right there into the pool. Come on! <laughs> I can just feel the cold. Yeah. And then, and then we can go to the monastery. Come All right, come on. Just do it, man. No, it's just water. No, that it's four meters at least, there, man. I jumped head first, and I went all the way to the bottom. I didn't touch. Come on. I tell you, look, I'm fine. Once you go in, your body just goes high. The heat. No, it's not. Hey, Flauta, where are you going? Come back. Flauta! It's too cold. Let's do it. And then we go to the monastery. Flauta, come on. Making our way up towards the monastery. It's quite a climb. Imagine we didn't come with the car. Flauta's running on ahead. He's got so much energy after that water, huh? Welcome to my mountain. <laughs> it's beautiful, isn't it? See how they built it all like little staircases so they can have gardens. Yeah, the goats down there. So this cross is all illuminated at night, and you can see it from the town. And that, that's St. Benedict and with his disciples. So that's it for now for the pool of St. Benedict and uh, Subaico, Subiaco, Subaico, <laughs> Subiaco, the pool of Benedict and the monastery of Benedict. It's a lovely place. I hope you had the time to come visit it someday. Hope this brought a smile to your face. Thanks for sticking around this long. And if you have any other places that you would like me to review or to see, or if you have any questions, please put them in the comment section below. And see you next time. 
How's it? Ciao, ciao. <laughs> Guys, join the club of St. Francis here. here. Even though that's not the symbol of St. Benedict, he did stem from St. Francis Mystics. So, here goes Samuel. Perfect. Mine is a little worn out. Been wearing it for years. Should I?